demands today for $100 million in government funding to better protect police and the public from terror attacks. Eddie Godfrey is live at police headquarters. Good evening, Eddie. Now, police union bosses have come together today in Adelaide to make the demand. They have, Brenton. Of course, it was only two and a half weeks ago when a New South Wales police employee was slain in a terror attack outside that state's police headquarters. And there are fears similar strikes could occur anywhere, including here in South Australia. So the people representing police want far more done to protect them. A united front in the face of a rapidly growing terrorism problem. We need all states, all territories, all governments in this country working off the same page to make sure that we have the tools for the 21st century to minimise the risk. A risk police have been training for the best they can, but insist they need more support to prevent. They point to recent homegrown terror incidents, like the killing of New South Wales police employee Curtis Cheng at the hands of a 15-year-old boy. I think we are all concerned by the radicalisation of Muslim youth. We um, are staggered by the, um, um, uh, the shortness of time it takes to radicalise a youth. It's prompted police unions to demand security be beefed up at police facilities right around the country. They include police station design and digital CCTV in and around police and other justice facilities. Body armour for police officers. They've also unveiled a three-point plan to help them gather and share information, including a national case management system and a much-needed upgrade to the 30-year-old criminal intelligence system database, which would be accessible by all law enforcement agencies instantaneously, and a dedicated mobile broadband network exclusively for emergency services. We also believe that these initiatives should be funded not only by the federal government, but by the criminals who profit from society's miseries. Commissioner Grant Stevens says there's no evidence to suggest a current threat in South Australia, but... An incident like what happened in Parramatta brings to mind uh, for police officers and police employees the, the fact that there is a, a potential for an incident like this to happen. Now, the police union says it's frustrated because it's been calling for these changes for a decade. The federal government responded this afternoon and says there could be some legislative issues around some of their demands that each of the states and territories would have to work through, but it can see a clear benefit in having a dedicated mobile broadband network, and there's a report underway into that now.